sorry I'm not there. I have to do a couple things here first before I get down there. But for some of you that were not there on Sunday, my name is Shad, and I am a uh, new youth pastor down there. And I'll be there shortly to hang out with you guys and, uh, make sure, and just to see what God's about to do uh, at first. I'm so excited to be there. But before I, before I do, I have a couple things I want to tell you guys first um, during this video. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to read again from Habakkuk. Uh, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, Look at the nations and watch, and be utterly amazed, for I am doing something in your days that you will not believe, even if you were told. Listen, I really believe that. I believe God's going to do something huge down uh, there in Fernandina, and I'm excited to be down there, and I can't wait to get there. But what I want to do right now is before Bill gets up and talks, uh, I truly, truly want to just give you some things from my heart. Uh, first and foremost is this. If you were not here on Sunday, you were not able to get in some groups. Uh, we talked from Joshua chapter 3. We talked about consecrating ourselves to God. Um, and I, you guys kind of divided into groups to be praying on a weekly basis uh, for four things. But you can pray for more than four things, but uh, particularly for those, uh, specifically for those four things that I laid out. And so if you weren't here last Sunday, um, you can uh, get in a group. This, this evening, you can talk to your friends and join up in one of those groups. But on a weekly basis, I want you to pray for those, specifically for those four things I laid out. And also anything else you guys want to pray for. Um, all right? And then the second thing is this. Is a lot of people have asked me the, about the third thing I asked to pray for. And it's basically this. It says, pray that God will make a difference for him that is utterly, utterly disproportionate to who you are. And uh, I didn't have time to clarify that. And so what I want to do right now, I want to try to clarify that. And basically what it says is this. It says to pray that God would do something through you for his kingdom that is bigger than who you are. Um, pray that God would use you in a mighty way. Uh, maybe to see your family uh, you know, come to know Jesus as your Savior. Or maybe to see a friend uh, that you know, you, you've known forever that doesn't know Jesus. That's something like that. Whatever it takes that, that God would use you for something bigger uh, than who you are for his kingdom and his glory. And the third thing is this is, um, man, Mary, Mary, Kayla, and I, we are so excited about uh, uh, being part of FIRST that we just cannot wait to get down there. Uh, we are really anticipating uh, getting down there and just meeting you guys and hopefully going on that uh, kayak or the four-wheeler uh, here. Anyway, um, and, and number four is this, is um, tonight I really want you to listen to Pastor Bill. I want you to give him your full attention. He's got something really cool that God has laid on his heart uh, for you guys during this time uh, of preparation and during this time uh, that, that, that you're consecrating yourself. And so, man, open up, your, open up the Word of God. Uh, listen to Him. Allow the Holy Spirit to move in your life and just to, just to wreck your life for Jesus. Um, and that's why I'm praying that tonight. Uh, that it begins, uh, you know, tonight. Uh, whatever is going on in your life, man, put it aside and just let the Spirit of God fall on you uh, this evening. Uh, I can't wait to, to be there. Uh, I'm praying for you guys, and I will see you guys soon. Talk to you later.